so uh, with these two normal equations now the next task is to solve these two normal equations in order to find out the value so not to say beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat okay for solving this normal equations we have to follow the cramer's rule you have already studied about cramer's rule you have solved many questions with regard to cramer's rule in your statistics part so from these two equations for uh, applying the cramer's rule we have to find out the determinant determinant so determinant a determinant a1 and determinant a2 we have to identify these three determinants so determinant a will be n sigma xi so n sigma xi sigma xi sigma xi square this can be solved as n sigma xi square n into sigma xi square minus sigma xi into sigma xi will be equal to sigma xi the whole square okay so this is determinant a now we have to find out determinant a1 so for that so determinant a 1 will be equal to sigma y sorry y i not y i it is sigma y i then sigma x i y i then sigma x i and sigma x i square this can be solved as sigma y into sigma x i square minus sigma x i into sigma x i y i so this is the equation for determinant a1 sigma yi xi square minus sigma xi into sigma xi yi so now we have to find out determinant a2 from this normal equations sigma xi sigma yi sigma xi yi this can be solved as n into sigma xi yi minus sigma xi into sigma yi okay so we have uh, find out the determinant a determinant a1 and determinant a2 okay so from this we can find out the value of beta 1 hat so beta 1 hat will be equal to determinant a1 by determinant a similarly beta 2 hat will be equal to determinant a2 divided by determinant a so very easily we can find out the value so because we have all the equations related to a1 determinant a determinant a2 so just substitute determinant a beta 1 hat is equal to determinant a1 sigma yi into sigma xi square minus sigma xi into sigma xi yi divided by determinant a n sigma x i square minus sigma x i the whole square so this is the value for beta 1 hat that is sigma y i into sigma x i square minus sigma x i into sigma x i y i divided by n sigma x i square minus sigma x i the whole square okay similarly we can find beta 2 hat is equal to determinant a2 by determinant a that means determinant a2 n sigma xi yi minus 
minus sigma xi into sigma yi divided by determinant a and sigma xi square minus sigma xi the r square. So we have found out the values for beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat. So these two are the values beta 1 hat, beta 2 hat. Okay, so by solving the normal equations, we can determine the values of the parameters beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat. Now we have the values of x, y, we, have, we can find the sigma values, then we can solve the equation and find out the values for beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat.